Right, good morning, welcome back. Now the great thing with a long-term project is there's always loads of stuff to do. So while I'm waiting for the new internals to arrive for my forks, I can be getting on with something else. Fork yolks or triple trees, depending where you're from. And in this case, they've got 20 years of life and they're in a terrible state, exactly as you'd expect for this kind of bike. Now they've got chipped and yellowed and scratched clear coat and bits of damage from brake pipes and whatnot. So all that needs dealing with. Also, it needs a new bearing pressed onto the stem itself. And then tomorrow, a good coat of paint. So exactly the same format as before, a day to prep and a day to paint. So let's get everything apart, get it all cleaned up and see what it looks like. I would have thought that your fork yokes contain 30 different components, but there they all are blown apart. Now, some of these parts will be eliminated altogether, won't be using them again, like the rubber bushings, and some will have to be replaced like the bearings, and I've got them in stock already, thankfully, but the rest of it can be refurbished because I want to keep the parts bill under control, and most of this can be used again. It's just got to be made to look nice. So the best part of it straight away is going to be obviously these castings. Both these yokes are in a terrible state, so let's give them a clean up and then get them in the booth for a good blasting.
Well, there we are, stripped, cleaned and blasted, ready for the next step. So join me tomorrow and we'll mask them up, primer and paint. I'll see you then.